but I feel like we were kind of beating around the bush today about like you know what we're doing and stuff like that. It's uh, actually come to a, it's a hard decision, a very hard decision. Um, but I think we're actually. We're gonna go get something. Because we have nothing else we can do because of. Go to the storage unit. I gotta make sure everything's good on the exterior. You know where we're going. We're going to get the RV at the RV storage. Oh, unit. I, I thought we took a total. No, I just. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the RV from the RV storage because there's some things that we want to do with it, and we need to stop. Uh, and open up shop. The bathroom, it needs to be done. I gotta fix that toilet seat. And yeah, Cookie Swirl Sea game. It's been such a long process getting this RV finished. Because it's like got, two thousand two years. I yeah, think about two years. Well, we got in 2020, yeah. I think it was 2020. Yeah, but, 2020. but the thing is, is that it's been, it's taken such a long time to get it done because of the time that we've had. And unfortunately, there's been a lot of little things that have, not little things, big things that needed to get fixed. So a lot of our like, um, all, all that fun stuff that you want to do when you renovate has just kind of been one trial and error too. Um, we just kind of do it on our free time. And so right now, Charles is not on tour. So we're like, all right, let's go grab it. Um, and let's start working on it. Hey, Turkey. How's it going? Everything's good. We're good to go. Oh, you're over there? Yeah. Are you driving? Can I have a high five? Good high five. Don't push on the screen. All right, you ready to get going? Hey, don't push. <laughs> Back at it, guys. We're eventually, what? This thing, this is great. This yeah, that's good still, oh my God, that stayed perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Good job. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> Positive reinforcement. Yeah, no big deal. It's a 96 degrees. Nice cool 96 degrees. It's getting there was 99. There's 99? Uh-huh. What is that ball? The coolest ball in your life? Yeah. She always does that. It's her new thing. Everything's in her life. Like, this is the coolest thing in my life. Never in my life. All these things in your life. Your three-year-old life. Ta-da! Mm-hmm. Yeah. Allie's going to do some uh, touch-ups and stuff like that. Just like little things, like, because over, you know, the last trip and stuff, Little grubby hands over here. Pretty much touched everything. Actually, I do have a question. Been going back and forth. Allie wants to repaint that like a solid color. I think it looks yeah. cool. It adds a little character what? to it. This thing. I want to repaint it. You want to keep it? Yeah. I kind of like it. See? No, I want to paint the white touch ups and stuff. Like clean oh, you don't want to paint over that, right? No. I like it. I don't want to paint it. Uh, I thought maybe I wanted white, but I'm, you know what? It does break up the. It breaks up. It breaks it up so it's not just blah. Yeah. I don't even know where to start. Yeah, where do we start? You made it. I did it. The ongoing it. renovation process continues. I feel like we're almost there. We're gonna get a couple more things done, but I'm gonna keep working on the bathroom. The unfortunate part, I think I told you guys, was like this area. I don't know if you can see it, but it's not the same. It's like, the, it's cut weird. So it's like when they made this, it wasn't, it wasn't created to be completely uniform. I don't know if that was purposeful or if it's just because it's old or what it is. I've been having a little issue over there with the tile work, but I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, I am getting there and it will be done and it will look beautiful, I promise you. I was in the back trying to get something done. All of a sudden, the music started blaring and a little homie over there had a little dance party going on. I gotta stay away from it because we'll get copywritten uh, strikes. Just think about hot chili peppers right now. That's all you gotta think. Can you tell my daughter came in here? <laughs> she said, hey mom, I'm gonna throw these everywhere on the floor and these are gonna be my little special lily pads that get me away from the lava. Ah! As I trip and almost physically hurt myself. I'm actually really happy that we didn't have it with us for too long because it works. It clearly sticks. It was in really, really hot weather, 
When I first got in here, it was like over 100 degrees. It goes to show, it does work, which makes me really happy. So I'm gonna finish doing the rest of this bathroom. If I have any time, I'm gonna actually start painting a little bit and touching up everything and go from there. I know I've done everything all wrong, constantly. That's kind of just my thing. I think I'm doing it the right way and then I realize I'm not doing it the right way. I'm very hopeful that I'm going to get this bathroom accomplished. I'm gonna get all these things in this RV accomplished because honestly, I'm about over it. I don't wanna renovate anymore. I just want it to be I just want it to be beautiful and I want it to be done and I wanted to I want Charles and I to be satisfied with the way that it looks. You know, we were looking at photos of it when we first got it to what it is now. It's a drastic, like drastic change. I mean just like the whole feel of the RV, it, to me it looks so much bigger because one well, we got rid of a bunch of things, but it's it's also kind of crazy because it doesn't even seem like it, it is the same RV. Because the way that it was before, it's not that it was bad, because it wasn't bad, it's just it was old, the carpets were really rough, there was clearly damage that had to be um, repaired and refinished, which I'm really happy that we did that because it could have been really bad, so it's like we, we actually rebuilt the floor and made it perfectly new, which I'm very happy and satisfied about. We did like all new air conditioning units, or two, two new units, we did all new tires, we've done brakes. I mean, we've done everything, everything. This thing is basically a brand new RV. The only thing that's not brand new is the outside. We're not gonna do that though. We, we thought we were gonna get around, but we're not gonna do that. It's more for the visual aspect and it doesn't need to be done. I think a lot of people look at our RV and go, oh, that looks old, but at the same time, it doesn't. It looks really nice. It's just kind of a outdated color, I would say. This has been like one of those projects that for Char and I, you know, I think it helped us get through COVID. I really do. I think it helped us get through COVID. We're so thankful for it. We're so thankful that we were able to bring all of our beautiful pups on it, that we were able to bring our beautiful daughter on it and have all these like great adventures and like continue to have these amazing moments on it. And it's just, it's been such a blessing. It's been something that we honestly never thought we'd be able to have and that us working towards it would actually become a reality. We we're so happy that we got to bring you guys along and you know, we got so, you know, some, I felt like so many of you had spoken to us in the comment section of, and have said to us how thankful you were that we did that because there's a lot of places that you haven't been yet and you've always been curious about and that this kind of solidified, you know, your will and your want to either go places or to get an RV. It is one of the coolest experiences. RVing is definitely one of the coolest experiences I've personally ever had. There's nothing quite like travel to really, really test you but also rejuvenate you you have like all the comforts of home without being home you know you're not packing to unpack tremendously if that makes sense i just love it i just love it it's been amazing it's just been the best we're trying to finish up everything Allie's piecing a puzzle uh, you'll probably hear in the background too. yeah it's a it's a jigsaw those things the little tile sticky things look amazing they're literally it's like a puzzle especially with RVs. RVs are never level. They're never built the same. Don't know why that's the situation. It could be a 22 or a 23, half a million dollar one, or a 2004, whatever. And they're all the same situation, all made of whatever this is. But I feel like we were kind of beating around the bush today about like, you know, what we're doing and stuff like that. It's uh, actually come to a, it's a hard decision, a very hard decision, but I think we're actually thinking about selling the RV. I know we kind of toyed with it, like saying that a few times. With uh, our life changing, you know, trying to have baby number two, tour is starting to go, it's gonna start picking up again. I just don't, we, we just don't think that we're gonna be able to take the trips that we originally wanted to do because we didn't foresee things that we wouldn't like touch up, which unfortunately took a lot more of our time so we weren't able to do more. We thought, honestly, we thought that pick up and start going and then we started discovering things. With, they're all fixed now. But yeah, the, the, the beauty now is that they're all fixed. The problem is it came at a time, unfortunately, to where I, uh, we don't think it's going to be smart to just store something as beautiful as this. It's renovated to amazing standards, got pretty much everything brand new. This has turned into pretty much a 2022. That it would be better for another family rather than just, I don't want to say rotting, but just staying in a storage lot, you know what I mean? That just feels like a waste, just because of all the work. It comes down to is like, you know, we just have other dreams, other goals that we want for our family. Fortunately, I think 
we might have to pivot from our original idea. We've had so many amazing memories built in this thing. Honestly, like, it's, it's yeah, we have all the vlog footage, we have all the uh, photos, and that doesn't mean that we're not going to be able to travel anymore, it's just the RV aspect might, you know, foreseeable right now. I mean, who knows? We never know. This might be the renting type. Yeah, it might just rent, or we might just put this thing on, like, RVZ or something like that. We are unfortunately leaning towards selling it to somebody. I don't want it sitting. Ali doesn't want it sitting. It just doesn't make sense. Is we're going to make it pristine more than it already is you know touch up paints all that stuff because everything's bathroom out that i'll show you what's going on with Allie. No, don't show it. <laughs> and just get it even better than it was like than it is i mean right now i mean it's out the door somebody would be super happy about it us personally we're like kind of like perfectionists this one more than i am that we want to make sure that whoever gets it has it and has beautiful memories in it and hopefully takes photos and sends it back to us. I mean, at the end of the day, this has uh, been our uh, COVID project. We built this thing literally from the ground up. Remember right here in this spot, this spot right here, that giant, uh, there we go, that giant gaping uh, wood rot or whatever, uh, wet, whatever, water damage. We rebuilt the floor. We built the whole floor, the bottom of the floor, then we rebuilt the top of the floor. You know, we learned our lesson. I think Ali and I sometimes are very trusting of people. And Not that they were, they probably didn't know. They probably didn't know, but I hope they didn't know. But I feel like sometimes Ali and I are very trusting of people. I think sometimes that can work a disadvantage, but also, you know what I mean? Like, had we, uh, not had those issues, we probably would have been on that dingy carpet, we probably would not have painted, it probably would have all brown, brown again. So it kind of kickstart our our vision and our creative process. And we made a friend, Chewy and his entire family. But everything, like, you know, you make friendships too. So, and like I said, I just don't want this thing rotting in a parking lot while I'm on tour, or while Allie's doing something with Remy. So it's just, I'm trying to be responsible. Adulting sucks sometimes. <laughs> I love this thing and I feel so lucky that we have it. And I'm so lucky that we get to take all of our dogs on it and I feel so lucky that we get to take Remy on these crazy adventures. It does, it breaks my heart that we have to move forward. But times are different and life is different and our priorities are different. And Remy's gonna be in school soon. You know, you're gonna be on tour soon and there's just, we're trying to level out what our, our ultimate future goal is. Like what is the, the thing in our life that we that we want as a team to accomplish. And there's something that Charles and I have always dreamed about and we're constantly working towards these new goals, but it's like this is something that we always in our heart have felt very passionate about. And one of the biggest things has to be also like being present for Remy. It's about providing her a good future as well. This has been a great element to our life. It's been a great element to, I think, the vlogs. I think it's been, um, like I said, like the biggest blessing ever to have this. Someone else's life in a very meaningful way. And I hope it does. I met so many wonderful people going on these RV trips, which I don't think our RV trips will ever end. So lucky for the RV world. We're so lucky for being able to have this beautiful thing that like literally looked totally different when we first bought it. Like it was a totally different RV. Sorry, I've been a little emotional today about it. Now it's transformed into something that holds so many cool memories. We've had a lot of really good things and it sucks talking about it. It sucks like being very serious about it. We've talked about it before when we were frustrated but that frustration has subsided because everything is fixed and beautiful and we're way, the way it needs to be. You know Diesel's getting older and we don't need this giant RV for three people. You know we just we just don't need that and we originally bought it because we had three dogs and a baby and dust and it made sense to have this giant thing. But now for us, it doesn't make sense. I don't know, it makes me much on me with finish stopping.